It's a beautiful day in Texas today. It's been a crazy week for America. I hope that today that you have a relationship with Jesus. The Bible tells us over and over again that nobody knows the date, the time, or the hour. And I strongly feel that that comes earlier for some people than others. If you don't, find some resources. Get plugged in. Please. All right, man, listen. If you know, you know. You've seen this rifle before. Some of you love it. Some of you hate it. And some of you just love to hate it. This is the Copes Precision KP-15 chambered in 6mm arc. You know, oftentimes when I shoot this rifle, I wonder, what am I going to do with it? And today, I think we're going to potentially close the load development story on this one. We got a target down there. We're going to shoot at the bottom row. We've got some Hornady ELDXs. We got the Burger Bolts we've been shooting. Uh, if you haven't seen this one, go back, watch the other videos. We've got two different seating depths for both. Uh, so we're going to test the seating depths for both and see what works the best. All right, we're there. We're there. Let's get this on there. All right, 26.15 on that one. Average 25.96, so pushing 2,600. Standard deviation of 10.6. So our standard deviation didn't really change. I'm looking at the group. Our point of impact shifted there pretty drastically. I would say the other group looks a little tighter, but that one from a point of aim perspective is exactly where we wanted to see it. We have got the Burger 108 grain bullets here, back on lever evolution. Uh, we're gonna go on that bottom row there. And we're gonna start blasting. Whatever we thought we were doing here, chat, this ain't it. Standard deviation looks incredible for those rounds, 6.3. But uh, that group is absolutely trash, and you're not going to get to see any of it. All right, so now I'll bring you in on those. Uh, you can see them there on the left, uh, on the bottom row. That was the horn, uh, the burgers that we just shot. So we're going to shoot one more round of the burgers and be done with six arc for the day. These are a different seating depths. And here's the thing about burger bullets. Hello, give me that. Here's the thing about burger bullets. They have a hybrid ogive design, meaning they are probably going to be less impacted by the depth at which we see the bullet. Not bad from a standard deviation perspective. Definitely minute of deer, but I wouldn't call it like crazy accurate or anything. All right, thanks for stopping by, man. I appreciate you watching. Uh, I've got the target right here, so let's pull the target. Let's take a look at the groups and see where we landed for load development this year. There are a handful of groups here on this board. The ones that we're the most concerned about are gonna be these first four on the bottom row. So starting from your left all the way down here, that was the first seating depth of ELDXs that we shot. Landed at about 1.71 inches. You can see the group pretty flat from a, a distribution perspective, but um, the horizontal stringing is maybe more concerning than the vertical stringing. I'm also seeing uh, the next group over, the first shot we had landed directly in the bull. And the cool thing about that is because it landed directly in the bull, it was a cold bore shot. I had let the gun settle for a little bit before shooting the next group. It tells me this is probably going to be a more stable load. Uh, it also is hitting exactly in the point of aim where we want it to. So you can see the first group about an inch low. That was an interesting group. I think for the ELDXs, that's where we're going to land. I have to go back and look at my notes to see what the seating depth is. But if I find it, I'll put it on the video so you know exactly where we're at. Then the next two groups here are with the burger bullets. And you can see here, we had some interesting results. This first group, you can see it's 2.7 inches, basically. It's just a weird distribution. And then this last group landed at about two inches. Probably what I'm gonna do with the burgers is go back out to 2.26 inches, because I think that's, uh, well, it's mag length, but I think that's where it's gonna do the best. With the ELDXs, if I find that seating depth, I know I've got a picture of it somewhere. I'll include that there. Otherwise, this round did great. It landed exactly where I wanted it to in terms of speed. And so I want to be clear why we're doing this level of load development. There are so many things that people can do when you hand load bullets. You can load them super long, super short. You can push them super fast. You can drive them a little bit slower. You can even go subsonic. You can change out primer powder. You can change out bullet all those things you have a ton of ability to mess with all of the inputs for me the most important thing is being as deadly of a hunter as i could possibly be 
And what that usually lends itself to is finding a load where you can watch the impact of the bullet. I'll give another shout out to Malcolm at Copes Precision. He has done really great work. I own three of his firearms and they're all top quality. You know, one of the things that I used to do when I was a kid, my dad would take us out to the range prior to the season starting and he would shoot, have us shoot at a paper plate. And a paper plate is about six to eight inches wide. And depending on what size you get, and if you can hit a paper plate three to five times at 100 yards, you're kosher. And I think that's a great test for kids to not only become comfortable shooting this a rifle, but also not get in their heads too much about what it is that they're doing. If you're trying to give them some practical accuracy opportunities, of course, a 22 trainer is a great place to start. Take them out to 25, 50 yards, let them shoot at a paper plate or shoot the middle out of a bullseye. But beyond that, when they're getting ready for hunting, a paper plate size target is plenty enough to kill a deer at 100 yards. And you can work on the fundamentals with a 22, where you can work on trigger squeeze, holding your breath, making sure your sights are in the right place. And then from there at 100 yards, you can really narrow down the impact that that has on accuracy on a deer. And so it has to do with a lot of practice. So I hope you enjoyed watching this. This has been a really fun series to work on low development for the six arc. I don't think I'm totally done with it yet. Maybe we'll take it out in the off season and do some um, ELDM shooting with it or like match bullet shooting. But otherwise it's, it's turned out to be a really cool rifle. So I appreciate you watching. I, if I can remember it, I'll put a link down to Malcolm's um, stuff in the bottom. Again, he makes really great quality stuff. He's got a ton of stuff up on his store right now. And so highly encourage you to check it out. Uh, not a sponsored video, by the way. I just appreciate what the guy does. So yeah, more videos on the way. Appreciate you watching. If you're not subscribed, hit that below. Uh, please give the video a like. That's what helps it get recommended to people. If you are liking what you're seeing and you want to share it with other people, that's the best way you can do it. We'll catch you in the next video. See ya.